Take that, Telegram! Game hasn't even ended yet. No, I'm sorry. Congratulations, Florida. Thank you. Somebody had to take Toledo down a peg. You can almost feel the intensity. Cooper and uh, Joe Potenza, former Cyclones, being represented in here. Columbus fucking prospect, even though that's not who Columbus is affiliated with for some reason. Teammates right there. Not even three minutes ago, and they're already shaking hands like nothing happened. That's why I love hockey. McCarran, you know, that's well deserved. You've played your years in the league. Not, well, the fans are. That's debatable with the fans part. But I will, I will say that Toledo is a really good contender, and Toledo's always giving Cincinnati a run for its money. Compe uh, competition wise. Zach Solo, a guy I wanted us to get so badly because I knew he could score. Mascot. That's great. Buckle up, 
South, Southwest Florida. This party has just started. The 25th anniversary season doesn't start until October. Oh boy, the guys are going to get their engines going here tonight. They're going to have a good old time, and why not? They deserve every bit of it. This was just incredible. Mm -hmm. And now, again, more hugs and well wishes going on. Zach Solo waving the Everblades flag. You know, he was here 10 years ago. He was in the stands when the Blades won their first Kelly Cup championship. He was high-fiving everyone and having a good old time. He was only 13 years of age. Zach Solo now 23. He had two goals tonight. He led the way offensively for the Blades. And he's brought the Kelly Cup back to Southwest Florida. That is what dreams are made of, folks. Incredible. There's nothing like winning the Kelly Cup at home. Zach Solo still with that Everblades flag in his hand. He knows what the Everblades mean to Southwest Florida. I wish people would stop saying, you know, this is weird. Where's the cup already? Enough hugs. Where's that bad boy up in the air? That's what we all want to see. Oh, the MVP trophy comes first. Everblades director of sales, Calvin Isaac, coming out to deliver the June M. Kelly Playoffs MVP award. He'll bring it to the table at Santa Cruz. <laughs> give him a hat. He's just the director of marketing, I think. Why would you give him a hat? Just because he's retiring? I mean, you should give him a hat. He's a part of the organization. Damn. Johnson, Cam Johnson. Nobody more deserving. It usually goes to a goalie, but Cam really deserved this one. Congratulations, Cam Johnson. They just won the Woods Cup, man. Man, this is so thrilling. Or whatever the hell his name is, needs to get a haircut. Jeez. Almost 10 minutes into the celebration. Boo! Joe Worst, you suck! Step down! I really want Joe Worst to be fired. The officiating was just unbearable with this playoffs, especially in the Cincinnati vs. Toledo series. It was just god awful. I mean, it was a really good series, but like, Jesus Christ, either you or the director of officiating just honestly aren't just clean house of the officiating. Clean house. It's. Here, here's my thing. They're not consistent. If you're not consistent in protecting the players, how are, and you want to develop these guys, here's the thing. 
why are the AHL and the NHL going to take these guys if they can't do it at a slower pace of play? That's my knock on Joe Ernst and stuff. They want to develop these guys, but they're not making them have the skills to show that they can, that they are doing well enough to have developed. It should not take fucking five or six years for Alex Norman did, and he still sucks, to go up to the AHL and get a few games in. It should not take that much development time for an official. Just my take, though. Just my personal take. Favorite number, 86. Pat Kelly. I have a picture of that Kelly Cup, man. It looks beautiful. Fire Ernst. Who's a terrible official and even worse in the front office. Fire him at all costs if you want to retain any dignity for the league. I wish it was Cincinnati hoisting it, but man, any team that beats Toledo, I'm happy for. Nice choice of song. There is a pecking order to this captain, then it goes to the A's, and then it usually goes experience wise, I believe. So rookies are going to be the last ones to get it. But I'm going to record all of it for y'all. <laughs> he didn't even take his little tag off. I love that song. Okay. One more cyclone. I watched that dude growing up. I think I was 13 when he came. Another former cyclone. I still don't know why Kansas City traded him to there. I mean, I'm glad that he got to hoist the cup because every former cyclone counts, but like, for real, for real. I mean, he's lighting it up alongside, I think it was Ben Johnson, another former cyclone, ironically. Um, so, like, why trade a guy that's doing well for y'all? Cam Johnson. Let me hope I don't get caught for this one. Kelly Cup champion as well. Two trophies for Johnson. Four shutouts in the Kelly Cup playoffs. He was incredible. Including one against Toledo in game two. That was a pleasure to see. As a Kelly Cup champion. What a moment for Johnson. 
Melville. Oh, Neville. Most of these guys won't uh, be back next year. Most of them are either get AHL deals or they're going on to another team. Sadly, that's how championships work in this league. Other teams try and poach their players. Stephen LeBlanc, a, a guy I really like. A guy I'm always really high on is Stephen LeBlanc. Great defenseman, great just prospect across the whole planet. Not planet, but like just across the whole name of a prospect. He's a really good player. Definitely looking for him to get an HL down next year. Wait, I thought he was scratch. You just said he was scratch. Why is he in why is he in full game environment? What? Don't know a lot about this guy. I'm going to be honest. Don't know a lot about the other guy. Either. Like, if I don't say anything about a guy, that means I don't know much about him. I think that's either season ticket holders or, like, family. Zach Silva, another guy I really love. He was on an AHL PTO a lot of this year with Milwaukee. I definitely look for him again as PT next year. And Jelly already held it. I was going to be like, is he going to hold it with this kid? That would, that would be something to witness right there. Somebody holding it with your kid. I don't think I've ever seen that before. With Kevin Cooper, another former Cyclone. Third and final guy on the team. That's former Cyclone. Now he's going to give it back. Congrats, Brad Ralph. You guys deserve it. Now he's giving it back to the players. Usually the coach is the last one, isn't it? We're now to the rookies, which means we're almost done, sadly. They win it here tonight in Game 5, 
4-2 over the Toledo Walleye. And more celebrations continue. Here's Parker Gahagan. He lifts it over his head. A Kelly Cup champion. The back of goalie. Four years with the Army Black Knights in the AHA from 2013 to 2017. And Parker Gahagan, a Kelly Cup champion. And now Thomas Bomachka. Under contract for the Nashville Predators, goaltender Bomachka, fifth round pick of the Preds in 2017. And Bomachka is a Kelly Cup champion as well. 4-2, the Everblades take game number five. And now Stephen DeRoche lifting the Kelly Cup over his head. He won a Memorial Cup with the Oshawa Generals in the Ontario Hockey League. And DeRoche, 26-year-old rookie, on top of the ECHL world. Now Chris McKay. I like McKay, too. He's a Kelly Cup champion. You know what? Chris McKay played one game for the Walleye earlier this year, and the Everblades acquired him. And what an acquisition. Kelly Cup champion, now assistant coach Jesse Kalicki. Lifting the Kelly Cup over his head. The pride of Sherwood Park, Alberta. Kalicki is a Kelly Cup champion. McDonald. And now Cody McDonald gets an opportunity here to hoist the cup. Now I think we're going to take a scratch players. What a moment for him as well. The Florida Everblades. Kelly Cup champions for the second time in franchise history. Absolutely incredible, and there's ECHL Hall of Famer, Mr. Craig Brosh. Oh! Time, Kelly Cup champion. More timer. I have a lot of respect for that guy in that seat right there. Bobo Carpenter lifting the Kelly Cup. He had an injury, couldn't get it done. And John Sellers for the first time, he's a Kelly Cup champion. Sellers in his eighth year as the head equipment manager for the Ford Everblades. What a moment for him. Now lifting the cup is Xavier Boucher. 